Today we're going to talk about blood pressure. And the first thing I want to talk about is the blood pressure equipment that you need to have in your office. It's very simple, it's not expensive, but it's very important that you know exactly how to use it. All of you have the stethoscope, so let's talk about that for just a minute. I'm assuming you all know which end to put in your ears. That's the easy part. But what you may not remember is the importance of having a bell and a stethoscope that has a diaphragm on it. The diaphragm is for high-pitched sounds. We use that for the cardiac exam primarily, but also the bell for the cardiac. But for blood pressure measurement, the AHA criteria require the bell. I have never seen anyone appropriately using the bell. Almost everyone uses the diaphragm. And the reason for that is the pitch of the blood pressure is a lower pitch sound. And if you're not using the bell, you can miss the systolic and diastolic pressures. Okay? Secondly is to have the appropriate size cuff. And then we have three cuffs that we have in every exam room. We have the first cuff, which is a pediatric cuff, which is very rarely used unless you're a pediatrician or you have a lot of skinny people in your practice, which is not common where I live in Nashville, Tennessee. So that was not used much. The most common cuff is this one, which is your regular cuff. The important thing about the cuff is to be sure the size is correct to go around the patient's arm. You'll notice on here there are two vertical white lines. And then when you put the cuff on the patient's arm and you attach it, you have to have the interposition of the two pieces coming in between those lines. If they come outside the line, then your cuff is too small. If they're overlapping, the cuff is too big. So this doesn't require you to do the mathematical formulation because it's actually on the cuff for you. And the final cuff is for people who have very large arms or they're overweight. Same issue, you have again the vertical white lines which show you where you have to interpose the cuff after it's put on the arm and it should fall in between the two lines. And that's all the equipment you need.